how is everybody today? Um, today I want to show you a really, really quick and easy way to make pickles. Uh, I know it's not something that a lot of people make by themselves, but my brother and his wife started making them out in Tennessee. They have their own garden. Um, they've actually been like masters at pickling for like months now. And they sent me in the mail uh, a whole bunch of jars. And he brought, when he came into town, a whole bunch of jars of pickles that were homemade. And I have been hooked on making my own ever since. It's really great because you can do, you can make the fermentation yourself so you get really good probiotics. Um, and you can change and use different pickling mixtures all the time. The internet has like a thousand of them. I'm going to put uh, one of my favorite spice blends in the description below, so look out for that link. Uh, it's not going to be the exact thing I'm doing today, but it's going to be similar. Uh, and then I start by taking a quart, so this is four cups of water. And you do two tablespoons of salt per quart. Yes, pickles are very salty. <laughs> so we're going to do that. I have my cutting knife here. I'm just going to use that to dissolve the salt. And I have my mandolin. And I have my 33-ounce uh, jar, so it's about a quart. Um, so you can do like a 32 ounce jar, obviously, but I reuse uh, a lot of things if I can. And this was from Costco. I got these um, artichoke hearts that were in brine. And when I'm finished with the artichoke hearts, there's about this much brine that's left over. And I will couple it with uh, a little bit more like apple cider vinegar or something like that. And I'll make salad dressing out of it. So then once the salad dressing is done, I have this beautiful quart sized jar to do my pickling and I know it sounds like oh my god that's a lot of work or I you know oh my god this person has a lot of time on their hands or whatever yes I do have time on my hands I don't have kids but it's really not that difficult I mean once I'm done uh, eating the artichokes <clears throat> I just add some vinegar and it's a salad dressing and I eat a lot of salad so it goes kind of fast so I have my mandolin and I'm setting, this is a small mandolin, I'm setting it at the thickest slicing option. And then I go to Los Altos Ranch Market. There are a lot of different markets out there that have pre-spice blends. This spice blend, Especias Mixpas, Spice Mix, uh, is what I really love. It has mustard seed, coriander, black pepper, cloves, bay leaves, red chili, a lot of the things that are in beautiful uh, pickling mixes, but it's already right here. So um, this, I usually put one chili pod in there, a half of a bay leaf or a full bay leaf in there, and then the rest of the mix, actually, you do two teaspoons per quart of pickles. So I'm going to scoop out my two teaspoons beautiful and then I'm actually going to grab my dill which I forgot to bring over here I'm definitely not like a massive pro at uh, YouTube videos I kind of like to keep it real and this is kind of how it goes in my kitchen sometimes you forget things that you want and I'm going to put one teaspoon of dill and then I also really, really, really love um, onion powder, but I'm actually going to leave it out of this mix today, and we're just going to see how it turns out. Um, chop off the ends of my cucumber. These were already pre-washed. I really like to wash and scrub the outside of my fruits and vegetables and I did a video on how to properly wash your fruits and vegetables to kill parasite eggs and all sorts of icky stuff um, already so check out that video if you haven't already and you'll see my small mandolin gives me about this slice of pickle you can use I do have a bigger mandolin so if I wanted the slices to be thicker I could do that 
you can see one cucumber goes a long way. I did chop off the pad of my finger once using my mandolin. That finger, that little white dot you see on the end, the entire pad of my finger was chopped off, like scooped inward, completely sliced off. I almost passed out in the kitchen by myself, so if you're using a mandolin, maybe make sure that there's somebody near or you have your phone next to you just in case you might need to call somebody if you pass out from the blood and the pain because uh, there's a lot of both. <laughs> just a forewarning. Okay, so I'm going to put my cucumbers in my quart jar, my little pre-pickled pickles. Get them all in there. And it looks like I could even do a little bit more. So I'm going to, looks like we've got room. These turn out so good. Once you get them in the jar, keep them for a day or two uh, in the fridge. You can even keep them on the counter if you want them to ferment a little faster at room temperature. Um, they'll still ferment in the fridge. It'll just take a little bit longer. And then they usually last for about two weeks or so uh, before you might want to reconsider what's going on there. So you can see I have filled my jar full of cucumbers. Then I'm going to take my salt brine here and I'm going to pour it over and I'm going to leave a little bit of room because so I left about an inch of space and I'm going to fill that inch of space with apple cider vinegar. I really love this. It adds more probiotics to the blend and gives it a real acidy flavor when they're done brining. Just cover the lid, swirl everything around so we get everything coated and it's beautiful and it's ready to put in your refrigerator uh, one to two days. I like to leave it for two and then you have fantastic pickles. Uh, kind of mix it around every once in a while while it's uh, fermenting, marinating and you're good to go. Again, I'm going to put a recipe spice blend in the mix below or in the description below. So feel free to look down there and maybe a couple of other tips and tricks as well. And then hopefully if you really love fermenting and pickles, uh, you'll be on your way to a great recipe.